so the controls in procurement here uh, basically what happens is using these controls in procurement the quality department in your company can influence or control the following activities when materials are procured from external suppliers okay so basically what you can do is uh, as a quality person you have some controls on the supply activity supplying purchasing activity that means you can select the suitable vendors processing their request for quotations processing the purchase orders and processing good receipt inspections so these can be controlled in this procurement activity if you have the controls in procurement we require control of procurement for certain vendors so suppose let's say in your company let's say you are purchasing a material a from two vendors two suppliers let's say supplier x and supplier y okay so now suddenly the supplier x is not supplying good quality of material then you want to block this supplier so that kind of activities can be done using controls in procurement or suppose let's say they want to supply uh, purchase the material a from a new supplier z then the supplier has to be released from the quality department okay so that kind of things can be controlled in the controls in procurement okay we require some vendors to provide certificates at good receipt so normally sometimes vendor when when he supplies the material he has to supply his certificate his coe certificate of analysis okay so that has to be made mandatory the goods will not be accepted if the certificate is missing so that you need to that kind of control you, you want to have so well along with the made material he has to supply his coe if he is not supplying his certificate then the system should not allow receipt of the material okay sometimes if the vendor delivers faulty goods the invoice should be blocked suppose let's say vendor received vendor delivered a material you did the quality inspection and then the material is not good quality of the material is not good in that case system should not allow payment to the vendor okay so these kind of controls if you need then you need to go for controls in procurement okay a specific material for a certain vendor doesn't have to be inspected if the vendor has a certified qm system suppose let's say the vendor is a certified vendor then no need to inspect the material so that kind of scenario also can be covered okay so for this to have these controls in procurement controls in procurement in the in the material master in the quality management view you need to activate qm in procurement this checkbox you need to activate and you have to assign a suitable control key with the required controls whether you want the vendor to be released whether you want certificate receipt to be mandatory okay and when you want a technical delivery terms to be maintained with the supplier you should have a quality assurance agreement document with the vendor so whatever the controls you need the control key which is activated with this control you need to assign to the assign in the qm control okay so then all the controls will come into picture okay so first we will start with the info record so what i will do i will first go to the system okay so i'll take the material okay this is the material i will use 104 okay so now let's go to material master okay i'll go to material master mm02 okay sorry this is a material enter okay now go to qm view quality management view continue plant is 6100 continue here you see here this is the section if you want to maintain the controls you have to make the settings over here procurement data already inspection type 01 is activated already it is activated okay so now if you want qm in procurement controls in procurement you need to activate this checkbox once you activate that you have to assign a control key so if you go to this control key control keys 
we have some control keys here so now here you see there is a control key called supplier release certificate block invoice that means vendor has to be released for procurement we need a certificate from the supplier when he supplies the material and if the material of the supplied material is quality is not good it should not make it should not allow the payment block invoice so this controls i want these three controls assign the control key and as we assigned the control key with certificate certificate mandatory what kind of certificate you are expecting then certificate type. i will assign this e21 okay enter okay done we made the setting we made the setting now save it so once you made the setting supplier release now the supplier release will become mandatory so what i would do i'll just not save this i'll just come out of this before maintaining this you see before maintaining this suppose let's say if i create a po purchase order me21 this we covered already okay if i enter a supplier here i'll enter the material okay plant okay enter okay so now system will allow you to create the po suppose if i try to save the po it will allow you to save the po purchase order that means you can you can start the procurement but i want this vendor to be released for procurement as of now there is no control so they can if i save the po gets created and they can start the procurement so but i want that vendor release so now if you want that vendor release now you have to enter that settings so activate this control key enter this control key certificate enter it now the vendor release will become mandatory so now if i go to display go to qm view see now the supplier has to be released I will show you the configuration of this. Okay, once we discuss the once we complete the front end part discussion. Okay, so the supplier has to be released. Now that control is there. Now if I try and go and try to create a new PO, if I try to create a new PO, ME21, then now you see supplier I entered, material, quantity, and plant. Okay, now the moment I enter, see what do you what error you are getting? no qm info record exists for the material 104 now you cannot create the PO. error so the, the even if i save the try to save the PO, it will throw the error that means the supplier is not released for procurement so now to to release the supplier for procurement you need to maintain an extra data you need to maintain extra data that is qm info record qm info record okay so basically in the qm info record you release the vendor to supply a particular material okay so in the qm info record you maintain information for this material and vendor combination this combination that means if it is maintained means this vendor is released to supply this material to the plant okay so this will become mandate qm info record is mandate so now let's maintain okay so normally procurement quality info record is maintained for a material and vendor combination supplier combination so if maintained when you create the po when you create the po system will check for that particular material and vendor combination info record is there or not if it is there it will allow you to create the PO. that means it will allow you to do the procurement from that vendor okay so now how to create the info record is let's go to, let's go to system again I'll come out of this. 